So today the beta for The Last Man Standing was released, as I'm sure you guys have seen from other video makers already. And basically Last Man Standing is 25 players are put into the same map and they have to run around the map and search from crates, drawers, chests, and loot stuff from those. And the loot that they can get is random pretty much. Um, what I noticed from the loot is that usually one chest will contain something magic, another chest will contain something range, and another chest will contain something melee. So it's really just random. Uh, in terms of that. So my thoughts so far, the first hour was extremely fun because everybody was playing it solo. Everybody didn't really know what to expect and everybody was doing their own thing. And that's what made it really fun because there was no teams, there was no clans teaming up, there wasn't people teaming up at all really. It was sort of everybody just enjoying it and having fun. And that's usually how it goes with a beta. Everybody enjoys it at first because it's something brand brand new, especially for old school. Every time something new comes out in old school, it's always very fun the first time around. Now, once people started learning the maps and where, I guess, the good spawns were, you know, where the most chests were located in one area, people sort of, I guess, sort of always going to those areas. And then also teams began to appear and they basically all went into the same lobby. And pretty much it's usually teams of six or seven that ended up getting in the same game. And then they pretty much controlled the game because if you're a solo player, obviously trying to play against teams, then it's not that fun. But I'm not like mad. People were going crazy in the game saying that this is like the worst thing ever released and that it was not even worth putting out. It's like, it's the beta. Like, what the hell are you guys complaining about? They put it out for a reason. They put it out for feedback. They put it out for people to let them know about bugs and stuff that they can improve. So I'm not worried at all. I had a lot of fun playing it. I played it for like four hours straight. And if you guys did actually play it as well, if you guys were one of the 2,000 who got invited, let me know what you guys think about it below. I personally had a lot of fun, and I ended up doing a lot of different things. The first hour or so, I played solo, obviously. Uh, I was just enjoying it for myself and just seeing, you know, what the minigame really was. And then after that, once I noticed that other people started teaming up, I started playing with my boys Framed and Kevin, and or same person, Framed and Kevin, uh, Framed, Sir Pugger, Mr. Bug, all these people that I guess our other YouTubers started playing it together with. And then also I just had a bunch of people who knew me in there and we sort of just had fun together. And uh, yeah, so that was really fun. Uh, but I do hope that is improved, I guess, in the future that it's multi everywhere in the map. And I guess that's what sort of wants you to, or it sort of forces you to clan at some point because everybody else is claning us. <laughs> and it's just, it's more convenient to be on a team, keeps you alive longer. It's pretty much like Deadman mode now that I think of it. It's just a mini game version of Deadman mode. Um, but yeah, it's it's still a lot of fun. And then I sort of noticed once I didn't have my friends online anymore and I kept playing solo that I tried one different I tried one thing that always got me in like the top 10 and many times in like the top four or five. And that was pretty much right off the start of the game was running either west or east to one of the chest areas. I'm not sure what they're called, but there's on both sides, there's uh, lots of chests that are located in one area. And once I did that, I got as much loot as I could, hopefully got like six or seven food in there. And then I ran to the corner of the map. The first time I did it, I ran to the northeast corner and the second time to the southwest corner, or sorry, the southeast corner. And both times after I guess I had gotten as much loot as I could, I just sat there, like I just stood there doing nothing. And I know that's sort of like a boring way to play it, but at that point, I knew that there was teams of six or seven in the game, and I had no chance as a solo player. So what I was hoping was, was that I would just chill in a corner and that those clans or teams would turn on themselves once they realized they couldn't find me or once they got bored or something like that. And I, my hope was just to basically not get hit by the gas uh, once it started coming in and then sort of just work my way towards the middle and find the spot. And hopefully, if there was only a couple of players left that they had sort of already fought and were running out of supplies. And I was there with my full you know, inventory, well not full inventory, but three or four food and hopefully a prep potion and some gear that I could finish them off. I ended up getting second and third a couple of times just doing this method. It's not really a method, just sort of something that I was just doing just to see if I could get you know, a higher place. And yeah, I never ended up winning, unfortunately. I know a bunch of other people did, but I unfortunately never ended up taking anything. You don't really get anything for winning, unfortunately, but it's just the beta. So again, I, I guess I really shouldn't expect anything. But I guess, yeah, how to almost win Last Man Standing would be a good title for this video. I think I'm gonna name it that. You start off the game with a survival stick, which is pretty much just a spear. And it's almost or a bit stronger than the Mithril Scimitar, which I don't really like because there's only three other, I think, melee weapons in the game that you can get. Four, actually, you can get. The common ones are obviously the Rune and Addy Skim, and then there's a chance you can get a Dragon Skim, and apparently there's a chance you can get a Whip as well, but it's very, very rare. I, don't, I think I've only seen one so far in the couple hours that I was playing. 
and just the fact that you can start off the game with a pretty decent weapon that's already better than stuff you can get from the crates I'm not really a fan of that so I think that should be changed obviously I think something should be done with the multi areas I'm not sure if it'd be better to have only certain areas as multi but again, then again, if um, it's just hard to think because then that could force teams just to always go to that area and they will always control that area, that area no matter what. So I'm not really sure how that should work. But it's very fun. I would absolutely love it if there could be more people in one game than 25. I think like 50 or even 100 would be really fun, but I can totally understand if that is impossible since I'm not sure how many people will be playing the game. And I also hope that they make this open beta at one point because with only only 2,000 people were invited for the very start and I guarantee you after a couple days not everybody's going to be going back to it so it may take a while so maybe they'll make it open beta as well. But I don't know, we'll see. At the end of the day I still had a lot of fun playing it. I am really enjoying it I guess and hopefully in the next couple days or I'm not sure if they'll update it as the week goes along or if they'll listen to our feedback and then release it with a bunch of new updates. I'm not really sure how that's going to go. But uh, yeah, hopefully I'll have some live commentary for you guys soon and stream it as well because in two days I'm going back home and I will be able to stream again. And I think this will be really fun to stream. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching uh, and I'll have some more stuff out for you guys soon. Again, hope to see you next time. Have a good one. And peace. Wow.